with all those plates on him, he better get a good reception. What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Age of Extinction Snarl. The knockoff Voyager sized Age of Extinction Snarl. So here we are, and there he is. And right there, we have our first size comparison. Um, now, again, they did just bump him up to Voyager sized, which I think works a lot better than the Deluxe. And, uh, let me pull the camera up a little bit here so you can see just how much they uh, they beefed this guy up. But yeah, I mean, they just upscaled him to Voyager size, like the other ones that I have. But um, yeah, very nicely done. Uh, uh, Paint-wise, detail-wise, everything that is on the Deluxe is on this Voyager sized one. And um, done very, very well. Like all the paintwork and uh, detail that's on the head sculpt is there. And very nicely done. Everything just very well, very well reproduced on this uh, on this upscaled Voyager version. It's kind of hard to show this off, but it's all there. Even all the detail that's on the plates. I mean, it's it's all there as well. And it's actually a bit crisper on the knockoff version. And yeah, um, the trans clear and plastic. I don't know how well it comes off on camera, but the trans clear and plastic on the knockoff is a slightly different shade. It's kind of a darker shade than it is on the original Deluxe. But other than that, it's basically the exact same toy. And um, looks very nice. Even the paintwork is pretty much identical for the most part. Like they found like the same shades of like metallic green and, and purple. And um, yeah, just works really, really well. So we'll move him off to the side and focus on this guy. But again, yeah, very nicely done. For a knockoff, very nice quality. Feels really good. He does have some die cast in him, so he has that little bit of heft. And, uh, yeah, articulation-wise, you know, you can move the head up and down here. You can move the head down a little bit up. You can open and close his mouth. Right there. The front legs can rotate. They're on a ball joint here, so you have a little bit of inward and outward movement as well. You have this hinge, which can bend in. A limited range of movement, but it's there. Um, the hind legs can't really do too much. You can rotate here, and you have a knee joint here. If you want more movement, you can always kind of shift these parts out. But when you do that, you undo his tail. So really, you don't want to do that. <laughs> so really, you're just limited to this rotation here and the knee joint. So, And the tail is static. It doesn't move at all. So there you have that. Now, one thing they did improve on this version of the mold is um, this piece right here. Now, on the Deluxe, this tab just kind of tabs in right... It tabs in, like, right in here. There's a little slot right there, and you plug this in. In theory, you plug it in, and that's supposed to hold it in place. And granted, yeah, it does stay just fine, but it's very loose, and you can knock it off very easily. They did improve this on this upscaled Voyager. Um... On this version, I'll show it when I actually uh, go into transformation. But on this piece right here, they actually added two little tabs on either side of this piece. So it actually locks in underneath these two sides. So I can actually pick this thing up by this and shake him around and that doesn't come out. So they actually improved upon that. And I really appreciate it. So, there you have that. So, uh, of course, for some other size comparisons, uh, here he is with his other upscaled Dinobot Brothers. And we'll bring in Scorn. Right there. This, you can see how he scales with the other Voyager size knockoffs. And, uh, yeah, again, I think that looks so much better. So much better. So you have that, you have that, uh, here he is with the Voyager Grimlock, so you can see how he scales there, which, you know, again, that could work a bit better. Um, here he is with the Leader Class Grimlock, so you can see how that works, right there, so you have that, and uh, yeah, so... 
that is pretty much it for Dynamo. So let's get right down to transformation, shall we? Let's see. First thing you want to do is, what are we going to do? I guess we'll start off with the legs here. You just want to come to this front section here. You want to untab this. So it just tabs into the slots right here. And these tabs are a bit hard to get in. There's not a whole lot of clearance. You have to give it a good push, and it doesn't really tab in all that securely. Um, but it still holds. Um, so you want to tab both the sides and just kind of extend the legs down like that. And then you want to split the legs. And he does have the uh, the faux head molded in to the inside of the leg there for the sake of symmetry, which I do appreciate. So you take this head, swing that in like that. Then you take the foot and you just take it and shift it forward like that. And take the other foot, shift it forward, like that, and then you take these legs and bring them up. One thing that is missing on this version as is um, that there isn't that little tab. There's supposed to be uh, a tab that tabs into this slot right here, and that is present on the Deluxe. It is not present on this Voyager-sized one, so there's no real way to... It doesn't tab anywhere, but you can just kind of take it and just rest it up there. That's pretty much where it's supposed to go. See, yeah, one thing they did omit from this upscaling, but you know, it is what it is. And then once you get to this point, you can come back here to the tail. You want to split it like that, and bring it out to the side, and this tab will tab into the slot right there. Just tab that in. Tab that in. You take this tail piece and you remove it. Just tabs in right there. Put that off to the side. And then you can take the shoulders and swing them up and out. Like that. And at this point now we can take this waist piece and clip that in right here. Just pretty tight. That'll snap in right there. And we're on the home stretch. Just raise the camera up a smidge. Do you excuse me while I readjust? There we have that. And then you just bring the arms around. Rotate the hand so everything's oriented properly. Rotate, rotate. And then you just take this whole assembly here, swing it back. And then you just open this up. This is quite tight, so do be careful with it. So you open that up, that'll fall out, and I can show this piece off now. You can see that there are, you can see right there, those little tabs that stick out of the sides right there that hook underneath these two halves and it just makes a world of difference because it actually stays in so very simple little modification but it worked wonders so once you have that fanned out then you just come in here and you push the head up and this is kind of tight okay. there we go bring the head up and there you go there you have a snarl in here's a robot's mood. And um, I, I like the design. I, I really like the design of the movie Dinobots. I really do. I think they really look cool. And even though he wasn't in the movie, I still think it's a really cool design. And I would have loved to have seen this in the movie, honestly. I think it looks really, really cool. Getting close here on the head sculpt. Very nice head sculpt. Nicely done. Details are nice and crisp. The paint apps are nice and crisp and well done. Very cool. He has some pretty good light piping going on there. You can see. A nice metallic purple right there on the chest. The whole chest piece right here, this entire chest piece, is die cast. And that's what gives him that bit of heft. Got some nice silver paint right here along with that metallic purple. And yeah. And again, all the detail that is... On the Deluxe is on this upscaled Voyager version. And um, looks really good. Works really well. Um, Articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint. So it does have some wiggly, waggly movement. The arms can do a full 360. These little back pieces can kind of get in the way. But full 360, in and out, bicep swivel. Nice full range of movement there on the elbow. Wrist swivel. 
Uh, nothing at the waist. My legs can go forward that much. They can go back all the way. They can go out only that much. Thigh swivel. Slightly over 90 degrees of bend. And the feet can pivot up and down. You don't really get any tilt out of it. So there you have that. And of course you can't give him his weapon. You just open that up. And you just feed this in from underneath. That just slots in right there to make a big axe. Of course, if you want, you can have him hold this just as a weapon on its own, but that, this is really how it's meant to work. So let me just take that, and you just feed in the thinner part of the handle into his hand, which is still kind of tight to get in. There we go. And just slide that up so he has a good grip on it. Hurt it, hurt it, hurt it. There we go. And there he is with his weapon. About to kick some butts. So there you have that. Very, very cool. Now, full comparison. Here he is with his other Voyager sized Dinobot buddies. There's Slug. There's Scorn. So you can see how they look together. And they look very nice together in a Voyager scale. Look a lot better on the shelf, too. Uh, here he is with the uh, Voyager Lockdown. You can see, a little bit shorter than Lockdown. Um, here he is with the pretty much leader class Hound. You can see how that looks. Uh, here he is with Leader Prime. You can see how that scales. Uh, here he is with the Voyager Invasion Mode Prime. You can see how that works. What else have we got? Here he is with the Voyager Grimlock. See how many scales there. And again, I think that scale works a lot better. In my opinion, anyway. And here he is with the Leader. See how that looks. Oh, uh, what else have we got? Here he is with the oversized Evasion Prime. Now this doesn't scale with anything, so that's kind of, you know. <laughs> that's going to be off no matter what you put this finger next to, because that doesn't scale with anything, but people are going to ask to see it, so I'll show it. And here he is with the original Deluxe Snarl. And you can see, same figure, just bigger. Um, the only paint they added to the Voyager is they just added some black there on his Iron Sheik boots, which does look a lot better. Um, the other difference, too, is you can see the back of his head here is, you know, solid plastic, and they just painted in the, uh, the eyes there. Whereas on the upscaled version, the back of his head is transclearant plastic, so they can give him that light piping there, so... It's another little difference there between the molds, but otherwise, the exact same toy, just a bit bigger. But, yeah. So, there you have that. But, yeah, as far as um, this version of Snarl goes, I really like them. Like I said, um, you know, these uh, Voyager-sized Dinobots that, that I've bought, I mean, I just think they work a lot better on the shelf. I mean, I have no problem with the Deluxes, but I always wish they were a bit bigger because they just would have looked better. And, um... These definitely do. These definitely look a lot better on the shelf than the Deluxes do because they're Dinobots. They're supposed to be bigger. So <laughs> I think these Voyager-sized versions do work very, very well on the shelf. And um, and again, very well done, very well made. They feel good and good and sturdy and nice quality. And the you know addition of the bit of diecast um, again just makes everything feel nice and. Uh, Nice and premium like, and uh, yeah, just all around, very, very good. Again, for being a knockoff, very good, very well done knockoff, you know. So there you have that. Now, I bought this from SirToys.com.
www.transformersinc.com. There will be a link to their site in the description down below. If you would like some official Transformers, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com. There'll be a link in the description down below as well. And you can also check out my knockoff Transformers playlist for any reviews you missed. That will also be linked in the description down below, so check that out. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the knockoff Voyager size Age of Extinction Snarl. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud. Boom in your face. <laughs> And I said to the lad, I said, surely you just, oh, jolly good boy, jolly good. Oh, here he comes. Me, Grimlock, want to kick butt and munch metal. He gone? Yeah. That boy can be quite vexing sometimes. I would say so. <laughs>